Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, Pacific Northwest Weather Watch. Today is October 28th and look at the infrared satellite imagery in this deep low moving up towards southeast Alaska. It's got a warm frontal feature here across some of the Pacific Northwest, but we've got a cold frontal system that'll swoop through tonight. We're going to have some winds and some wave action with this system as well. So we'll dive into those details and we'll take a look at the atmospheric river gearing up as we go through Halloween and on through this upcoming weekend. And we'll take a look at the extent of forecast as always as we go through the video here today. So there's our low pressure system. System, looking at the upper level water vapor loop and you can see the cold front back here weak warm frontal system moving across the area just some light precipitation associated with that so I wanted to say thanks uh, you know you guys are basically the uh, supporters and uh, the the main reason why this channel is possible here a lot of you guys have been here from the start here and I just wanted to show you guys the names and everybody who's been supporting this channel from the start you know again this channel is not possible without you guys I just wanted to give my thanks and my appreciation for you showing up on a monthly basis to help support this channel so taking a look here at the jet stream at 30,000 feet 300 millibars this is that low pressure system we just looked at here on the satellite imagery and you can see that pushing up into southeast Alaska and then we start to gear things up as we go on in towards the end of the week and as we go through halloween you can see the supercharged jet stream rolling across the pacific ocean starting to push into the pacific northwest that's going to bring an atmospheric river with it here so we're going to look at some rainy conditions here for some of the trick-or-treaters across the region we'll take a more detailed look at that here in a moment you see that jet stream just kind of come right across the region and then we've got some additional systems as we go through the extended forecast as well so if we look at 500 mil bars 18,000 feet we're looking at the gulf of alaska pacific northwest is to the right and there is our deep low up towards southeast alaska moving across Haida Gwaii there and then we get a little bit of ridging but then that gulf of alaska trough really gets going there and that's going to funnel this fairly decently strong atmosphere atmospheric river back into the Pacific Northwest as we go towards the end of the weekend on in through this upcoming weekend. Now you can see the atmospheric river as we go on in the future a little bit. There's that deep low that moves north of us into BC and into Southeast Alaska. Then the atmospheric river, look at that classic signature there as we go on in through Friday afternoon, just north of the Hawaiian Islands. You can nickname it whatever you like, but the scientific term for this is atmospheric river. And you can see why they call it that is it just perfectly represented right into the pacific northwest now taking a look at some of the timing of this precipitation there goes our deep low and as we go on in through tonight into tomorrow morning you see some of the snow flying for the higher train of bc some of the cascades of washington getting a bit of snowfall it doesn't look like anything or too much for stevens pass or snoqualmie pass with this system here as we go on in through the day wednesday we kind of put an end to that precipitation then we wait for this atmospheric river so you go through friday morning you see it bearing down on western british columbia vancouver island we go on in through the late friday morning hours there and by the time we get towards the afternoon hours it's about 5 p.m it's like the rain starts for places like Seattle right about 5 p.m. Of course, a bit sooner here north of Vancouver Island, rainy much of the day. Looks like Portland and Spokane and places like Pendleton, Idaho, Western Montana, much better chance of being you know dry here for the Halloween hours. But you see, by the time you get towards eight o'clock uh, for Seattle, you're you're in some you know light moderate rainfall there. So yeah, heads up for that. Keep that in the back of your mind if you got young kids and you're out trick or treating and whatnot. Then you see the atmospheric river signature kind of slide down south across the region as we go on in towards what is that sunday morning right there you see still producing some precipitation here across the area and then as we go out into the extended forecast we got some additional storm development out here as well we'll check that out in the extended forecast now looking at the european model so there's 100 meter wind speeds you see where the strongest winds are going to be you see some of this cropping up here across the northwest interior and the washington coast there are wind advisories up for that straight at george is going to get windy vancouver island very windy here as well western british columbia look at that bent back occlusion kind of moving just north of vancouver island but it'll be pretty breezy with the system as we go on in through the day on wednesday and then we come out a little bit further and kind of see that atmospheric river signature right there moving across the area and again this is 100 meter wind speed it'll probably get gusty here across some of the northwest interior as we go on in through halloween and on in through the early portion of the weekend as well and some of the coastal areas now if we look at accumulated 10 meter max wind gusts this goes through wednesday morning again northwest interior some of the washington coast but the big winds will be across vancouver island some of western bc and up again towards the queen charlotte's and haida Gwaii. 
Now, the North American model looking a little bit closer, high resolution model, looks at these gusts across the San Juans, some of Whidbey Island getting up over 50 miles per hour. The wind is already starting to pick up as we speak. Bellingham looks 42. Seattle, Portland, not too bad, only gusting you know, into the 20s and 30s, so that's not too big of a deal. But you can see Quilly 51 miles per hour, and there is that wind advisory up and down some of the Washington coast. Now, taking a look at the Seattle uh, National Weather Service, good thing they did put the wind advisory out for some of the coastal areas and the northwest portions of the state of Washington. Now, taking a look here, uh, I saw this graphic here, and Spokane shows some potential for some rainfall on Friday. But as I showed you on the European, it looks like that might hold off through the evening hours on Friday, which, of course, is Halloween. So kind of take that into account. But you also can see the cold front system here as we go on in through very early on Wednesday morning, bringing some precipitation chances with it as well. Now, looking at significant wave height. So you'll see this deep low, again, move up towards southeast Alaska, and you see the waves kicking off across Vancouver Island. And some of that activity pushes, again, towards the Washington coast as we go on in through Wednesday morning. So kind of keep that in the back of your mind. And we're going to get a bump in the wave heights all the way down through the Oregon coast here as we go through the day on Wednesday. So heads up for that. And if I scroll off into the future, you can see additional bouts of some larger waves with the atmospheric river coming up here. And then as we get some low pressure systems off into the extended forecast, you know, depending on just the exact track of those lows, you can see some huge waves showing up way off into the extended. But again, we'll be watching that on more of a daily basis. Don't look at these dates right now. This is just kind of showing you what can happen at this time of year. Always good to check before you go out to the coast. Now, total precipitation in inches, we're just going to kind of play through here. There's that first frontal system. There's the atmospheric river. Then additional systems as we go on in through November. You can see that precipitation really piling up here as we go on in through about, what, November 11th there. Almost five inches for Seattle, something similar there for Portland. The bulk across western British Columbia, but a pretty good rainy period it looks like here over the next couple of weeks. And hopefully we can uh, ring some of this out for places like Spokane, eastern Oregon as well. You can see the strong rain shadowing there as you get east of the mountain ranges and then it picks back up again across some of the Rocky Mountains of BC, Idaho, and Montana. So looking at the artificial intelligence, there's our deep low currently. We're going to look at the extended forecast a bit. There's the first cold front. There goes our atmospheric river as we go on in towards this weekend. Sag south and then you can see additional storm systems pushing frontal systems through the Pacific Northwest as we go through the following week. Additional storms kind of slamming into the coastline there as well. You got to watch out for some windstorm potential as we go through the first half of November uh, also when these active periods it is that time of year and November is one of the most active months here across Pacific North Mess and for many areas it is the wettest also now if we look at this 6 to 10 day temperature outlook above normal across much of the west coast there's the above normal signal which makes sense with what we just looked at and if you want a nice affordable home weather station zero moving parts instant online data uh, a free uh, web page, you know, it's got all kinds of stuff. Very fun weather station and it does everything a weather station should. I highly recommend it. Click on that link down below to save 10% off on one and check out the Patreon page. Another way to donate some of your hard earned money towards the channel if you like. Uh, but yeah, one more last look here at the infrared satellite imagery. Hopefully you guys are having a good day. Um, we'll do this all again tomorrow and I will talk to you guys then.